So I'm Gerald Marman, and I currently work at Stellenbosch University at the Centre for Cardiometabolic Research in Africa. I grew up in Israfil, which is a community that is really burdened by poverty and disadvantage. So obviously when you grow up in a, in the Cape, on the Cape Flats, it's quite difficult because you are surrounded by negative examples. And for me it was quite difficult in the sense that I've always wanted to become doctor one day. It was always my dream for people to one day call me Dr. Gerald Marmar. But when you grow up on the Cape Flats, you know, you are surrounded by all that negativity and you have to make the right choices so that you can survive to one day achieve your goal in life. The most challenging part was um, being the son of a pastor and being surrounded by, you know, spiritual family and people look up to you um, but then having to go back home after church service and there is no food to eat. Um, and then going to school and then I become a prefect at school. Um, so I'm seen as this leader and students look up to me, but they don't know that when I come to school, I don't have food to eat. I don't have a lunchbox that is packed. Nobody knew what was going on in my house. So I had to go to school and, and act like I was normal. Um, and that was extremely hard for me. You know, in my grade 11 year, I applied at Stellenbosch University to go and study medicine. Um, and I was provisionally accepted. And then unfortunately, when all these, you know, difficult circumstances were happening in my family, it was during my grade 11 and 12 year. So at the end of my grade 12 year, unfortunately, my marks were not good enough to gain access to the university. Um, and I got that letter that really destroyed my life, um, saying that unfortunately, you know, you cannot be accepted because your marks are not good enough. Then just randomly one day, somebody gave me a brochure and on it, it said schematis. And he said to me, this person said to me, you know, just apply and see, maybe, maybe you'll get in. So I started schematis in 2003. Um, which for me was the first step towards a very successful academic career. Schematis is a second chance. It is a rigorous academic program that not only helps students to improve their academic records, but it changes their lives. To be honest with you, Schematis changed my life. Um, and they not only changed grades, but they changed lives as well. So after Schematis, I managed to get into the university, uh, their bachelor's degree program, and I decided to do a B BSc degree in functional human biology, um, after which um, I completed my honors degree, um, um, bachelor's of science in functional human biology, um, as well as medical physiology. And I then completed a master's degree in cardiovascular physiology and I went to UCT at uh, the medical school um, to complete a PhD in cardiovascular physiology in medicine. I graduated with my first degree in 2007, but that day when I graduated with my first degree, um, it was my parents sitting in the audience, thousands of people, and that moment when they stood up when I got my degree conferred on me, when I saw my parents stand up that day, it all made sense to me. The hardships, the difficulties, the times that I wanted to give up, um, the times that I didn't understand why I was going through all of it. When I saw my parents stand up that day, it all made sense to me. I would like to continue my work in going to disadvantaged communities and imp impacting young lives um, and showing young people that irrespective of where you come from, it is possible for you to achieve success in the face of adversity. And irrespective of what the failures of the previous generations before you were, you can make a difference. Gerald's story is a getuienis van schematische invloedrijke bijstand. Met jou help kan schematis die levens van nog vele jong mense verander. Daar is verskye maniere hoe daar geskenk kan word. Daar kan ook direct aan die universiteit skenking gemaak word. Volg ons op Facebook om op tred te blij met al die nietste verwikkelinge. Of besoek Matis Alumni se webteiste vir meer inlichting.